Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I've got the electronic load out because today we are testing claims. This is my fake Makita battery. I'm going to be doing a few more videos about this battery and specifically about the charger that one of my subscribers has sent me. But first I thought we'd do something a little bit easier. I want to test the claim that this is 6 amp hours. I don't buy it whatsoever, but we don't know until we test. So the electronic load is here. It is off because I set a low voltage protection and if this thing is not plugged in, this thing will freak out. So yeah, this one, this thing is not the best UI, but um, we're going to use it anyways. So uh, in here, if you haven't seen my battery teardown of this, there are five cells in series and those cells are then paralleled up with, uh, with another 5 in series. So, uh, if this were to be 6 amp hours, that would assume that each and every cell would be 3 amp hours. Again, I don't think so, but there's only one way to find out. Now, my testing methodology. Typically, these cells are tested at either 0.5C, so 0.5 times their capacity, or 1 times their capacity. I think I'm going to be uh, quite generous and go one quarter C. So that means I'm going to test this battery um, at one and a half amps, which should be half the rated um, capacity of a single cell. So if this doesn't give us six amp hours, then we'll know they're full of crap. Also, you know, I sort of do know they're full of crap, so I want to see by how far we are off. So, I'll plug this thing in, and there's that warning there that we're uh, too low voltage. I just made up some quick uh, leads here, and these I'll just slide into the little holders. Just got to make sure that it stays put. There we go. And then I'm going to adjust this to get um, about one and a half amps. And this will keep a constant current all the way down. This is fully charged right now, right off the uh, genuine Makita charger. Uh, so we're showing 10.4 volts. And I'm just going to start cranking it up here. There's one amp. Just going to fine adjust all the way up to 1.5. And then I can bring you guys back with the results. Okay, I have not hit my low voltage cutoff yet, but I am going to cut off this test because we were getting down beyond 12 volts. So uh, two volts per cell is already starting to get into the stressing the cell uh, ter territory. And um, yeah, I, di I didn't really want to do that. I was hoping that this um, battery pack would cut off the current, but it did not. Okay, so. What have we learned? Well, first of all, this six amp hour battery um, in, you know, in, in its in, in its lies actually gave us four amp hours, which is actually a whole amp hour more than me and a lot of the commenters thought it was going to give. A lot of the commenters thought they were 1.5 amp hour cells, um, but they are not. They must be two amp hour cells. So that is pretty good. Uh, 72.06 watt hours, which is um, really that's the important part because watts take into account the voltage as well. It's the total uh, power that we got out of this battery. So yeah, that's uh, that's actually decent for a 20 some dollar battery here in Canada. Not too bad. What else have we learned? Uh, well, you know when you use your drill and your drill just uh, stops working, we know that it's not handled on the battery side because my uh, my impact driver does stop working uh, when the battery gets low and that is not the battery cutting it off, that is the drill driver cutting it off. So we know that there's no circuitry in here to protect from under discharge, at least not to, you know, uh, 2.1 or 2.2 whatever it was volts per cell so if you want to use these batteries in your projects your custom projects 
you either need to implement a low voltage cutoff or um, it just you have to monitor the voltage yourself. So yeah, this thing, you know, 18 volts, uh, 6 amp hour, not quite, but we knew it wasn't going to be 6 amp hour, but it didn't do too bad at 1.5 uh, amps of discharge, which, is, which would be about a quarter C if these were, um, actually it's almost, it's, uh, it's almost uh, 1C for the cells since they are about 2 amp hours a piece. So it was a little bit, um, you know, higher C rating than we thought it was going to be because the cells ended up being a little bit worse than we thought they were going to be. So yeah, uh, not quite sure if this information is pertinent to you, but it was cool for me. I did a little experiment and now I have more information on my battery. Just a little truth in advertising. Thanks for watching.